In this tutorial, I'm going to very sh quickly show you how to unwrap a geometry in 3ds Max and prepare the UVs for Mudbox. Um, there are more technical ways to do this and, and more complete ways, but this is a, a sort of a quick approach just so you can make sure that the object exports correctly to Mudbox. So I have a fairly complex object here, and if I were to apply a traditional uh, UV map modifier, my options would be limited to these sort of standard geometries. And for this object, I'd want a more complex mapping approach so that I could handle the surfaces better than just using planes or boxes or spheres. So I'll delete the UV map. So to do that, we have to create a unwrap UVW modifier. So add an unwrap UVW modifier to your object. And then you have to flatten or unfold that mapping. So within this modifier in the Modify tab, if you hit the Open UV Editor button, that'll open the Edit UVW window. And the goal is to get all of these surfaces within this tile. Um, there are a number of ways to do that. The first thing we'll do is select all our faces. So if you select the Polygon option here, and just make sure you select all of them, um, you can just move them. But the problem is you can see there's a lot of overlapping faces and that's going to cause an issue for texture mapping. So what we want to do is to unfold this mapping and then fit the unfolded pieces within this tile. So if you go to mapping, there are a few different ways to do this. You can unfold mapping um, and you can see there are some options here. You can uh, uh, different options for unfolding it. So you could do that and then uh, rearrange the pieces within that tile. Um, but for this one, we'll just use mapping, flatten mapping, and um, just use the defaults there and say OK. You can see it automatically sort of uh, repositions those after it unfolds them within your window. And usually that's a pretty good first approach for for getting these within the tile. So we'll just use that. And then you can make sure that uh, none of these edges are overlapping that border there, so I usually like to move it a little more in the center. If you want, you can scale, you can select everything. You can also select individual elements if you select this button here. You can move those around to better sort of lay them out. Um, or if you select all of them, you can scale them down by using the scale tool. So if it's not quite fitting in that window, you can scale and make sure it does. And then that's all you have to do. So now if I save this, if I export this object, let's uh, use OBJ format. I'll just save this to my desktop. And then make sure I have my Mudbox preset selected. If I export. Now if I import or open that OBJ and Mudbox, it should open correctly and you should be able to add your textures. Um, one thing to note is right now you can only see one face, one side of this geometry. So if I right click and select Show Both Sides and Mudbox, it'll show both sides. Um, again, you can also add materials. So if you have this object and you want to start with a base material that's not this default, you can always choose any of these other materials and then begin painting directly on that material.